Hi everyone, Sharon here and welcome to my chemistry hub lab demonstration. And today we will be doing separation of mixtures. Remember safety gears when working in the lab, our lab coat, safety shoes, gloves and of course our goggles. First we will be doing filtration. This is a picture of the chemicals and glassware that we are working with today. This is a mixture of copper to oxide and copper to sulfate, a blue solution with black suspended particles. It is then poured in a funnel with fluted filter paper. Observe the color of the filtrate in the conical class and also the residue that remains in filter paper. Next, we move on to distillation. And of course, this is a picture of the chemicals and glassware that we are working with. First, we pour the copper to sulfate solution in a round bottom class, while the first round bottom And this is how we assemble the apparatus for distillation. The condenser is a vital glasser in this process. Essentially, the vapor is cooled in the condenser and this converts the vapor to liquid. And as we can see in RB class number two, it forms the distillate. This is a mixture before distillation and then this is the distillate afterwards. 
Now on to sublimation. And this is what we'll be working with today. The mixture of ammonium chloride and sodium chloride is placed in an evaporating dish and then an inverted funnel is placed over it. And after a few minutes, we observe a cloudy precipitate being formed on the inside of the funnel. Lastly, we'll be doing paper chromatography. And this is what we'll be working with today. The mixture is applied to the baseline in a spot and allowed to dry. It is then placed in the solvent and it moves up the paper by capillary action. So essentially what happens, the solvent moves up the paper taking different components at different rates until the separation is complete. Don't worry, we'll discuss all of this in our post-lab talk. 